Welcome to Biologic Official. In this vlog, I am going to give you a brief idea about the phylum Platyhelminthes. The word platy means flat and helminth means worm. So commonly it is known as flatworms. So let's start with the general characteristics. The first character, they are triploblastic in nature. That means they have three body layers, outer ectoderm, mesoderm and inner endoderm and they are acylomate. It means they do not have any silome or body cavity. The cross section of the body of any acylomate animal looks like this. This is the cross section, the outer ectoderm, the middle layer mesoderm and the inner layer endoderm and this is the digestive tract so there is no body cavity in this picture so this is the cross section of an acylomate animal platyhelminthes is the first animal phyla with the bilaterally symmetrical body plan next character the body is dorsoventrally flattened means if this is the animal and this is the dorsal part and this is the ventral part so so the animal is dorsoventrally flattened and leaf like and hence the name platyhelminthes or flatworm next character mouth is the only opening of the gut so they don't have anus excretion through protonephridia it consists of a special kind of cells called flame cells and the last character, most of the animals of this phylum are parasitic in nature. Phylum Platyhelminthes is divided into four classes. Tarbellaria, Cystuda, Monogenia and Trematoda. Class Tarbellaria, they are marine, benthic, free-living animals. Their outer body surface, that is epidermis, is ciliated. They secrete numerous membrane round rod shaped secretions known as rhabdoid. Their locomotion involves unidirectional waves of muscle contraction known as pedal waves. The examples include Pseudoceros, Planaria, Class Cystoda. They are endoparasitic in nature. Their body covering is non ciliated, presence of small anterior hooked attachment organ called scolex. The body is divided into several segments called proglottids. The examples include tinea solium, tinea saginata, plus monogenia. Most of them are ectoparasitic in nature. They are monogenetic parasite. That means they require only one host to complete their life cycle. Presence of highly specialized posterior attachment organ haptor and anterior adhesive organ prohaptor. Their larval form is Oncomeracidium and the examples include Polystoma, Gyrodactylus and Dactylogyrus. Class Trematoda is divided into two subclasses, Digenia and Aspidogastria. Subclass Digenia, they are endoparasitic in nature and they are digenetic. It means they need two hosts to complete their life cycle. Their larva is called Miracidium larva and the example is Fasciola. Subclass Aspidogastria, they possess large ventral sucker. The example is Aspidogaster. If this video is helpful, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, Biologic Official. Thanks for watching. See you in my next vlog.